This is the sound of crime in our community. And this is what's left behind after a crime happens. What you don't know is there are locals getting their hands dirty, trying to erase the often bloody scenes left behind. So the police, their main job is to investigate and remove the body from the situation. Their job is not to clean anything that's left over. So that's why we exist. El Paso native Rigo Melendez makes a living cleaning crime scenes once the police tape comes down. It's a pretty dirty job. Um, we are on our hands and knees uh, only because everything is wiped. Uh, we don't use vacuums, we don't use brooms, we don't use mops because we don't want to cross-contaminate anything. From murders, homicides, I've seen a lot of homicides, to suicides and even hoarding cases, crime scene cleaners come in during a tragic time for others. They're not calling us to chat or get a proposal or anything like that. We. They're, they call us because they want the job done. They want us to go in there and help them clean up the situation. Cleaning up might seem like something any of us can do, but for this type of job, it's best to leave it to the professionals. Blood carries a lot of bloodborne pathogens, and that can be from HIV, AIDS, hepatitis, a lot of the things that blood carries. So what our chemicals do is, is it kills all those. But protection doesn't end there. We are completely suited up. Uh, we have biohazard suits that we uh, use, uh, booties, we wear double gloves in case uh, we need to remove a layer, we have a second layer on for protection. Everything is taped on with duct tape so that nothing is showing. We have respirators so that we're not breathing any of that stuff in. But this gruesome job sometimes requires an even deeper cleaning. I think dealing with the family sometimes is difficult. Uh, they're very emotional, um, you know, with their, when there's a situation that, that has happened to them. Um, that's been difficult for, for the crew and myself. At those times, an unlikely ally surfaces. The FBI. Because of the things that we see, if any of us ever need to speak to someone, their doors are always open to us. But Melendez says while it gets tough, they are truly there for the affected families. Yes, you have to deal with it. You have to talk to the family members. You have to be compassionate and let them know that it's going to be okay. And while most death and tragedies in homes are covered by insurance, Crime scene cleaners try to help when it's not. I mean, our, our business model is help first, business second. So if they can't pay for something, we will do it for free uh, just because we're there to help. And that has happened.